Good afternoon, it's World Travel Market 2008. I'm on the Brazilian stand with Mr. Chris Fusinato, Director of Embratur, the Brazilian Tourism Board. Chris, very nice to see you here again. Hello there, nice to see you too, John. Chris, one of the most impressive stands at World Travel Market is always Brazil's. I see you've had an image change this year, very zen-like mixture of white with some fantastic colorful images to show off uh, the huge diversity and beauty of your country. Can you, can you tell me how, whether that's had a very positive impact on uh, traffic to the stands? Uh, yeah, sure. This, this is, uh, in fact, WTM is, is the release of our new stand. The stand is totally uh, recyclable, which is uh, the way we're looking forward to, uh, towards uh, uh, keeping the environment friendly. These stands, as you can tell, doesn't have any carpet and all modules will be reused in every single travel show that we're going to be doing throughout the world. So that uh, is going to be reducing the impact on the environment by attending the travel shows this year. Fantastic. The key for many destinations is keeping a visitor in their country. And Brazil has a much envied average of, I believe, around 22 days per visitor. Um, I imagine that's something that you're, you're very happy about and, and is that down to the diversity of attractions of the country that keeps people there for such a long time? That's right, yeah, well Brazil is such a huge country and uh, you have so much to do. The only thing you can find in Brazil is snow. <laughs> so from the north to the south it's mm. probably about uh, nine hours on the plane. It's a huge country, you can combine a huge diversity. You can do sun and beach, you can do ecotourism, you can do cultural uh, destinations. And it is a huge country that will retain the clients and obviously they will try to stay there as long as they can. And I believe, Chris, there are a number of exciting new developments taking place, one of which is recently BA have launched, I understand, three extra flights a week uh, into Rio. Can you tell us about some of the other uh, developments that the trade can look forward to over the next year to 18 months? Yeah, sure. Now, now we have, a, I believe, one, one of the biggest points for us now uh, for next year will be the increase of the city capacity. Uh, BA, as you said, we, uh, has now 10 flights to Brazil a week. Uh, TAM Airlines, the Brazilian airline, also uh, is just about to receive uh, a new aircraft, which is going to be a, a 777, which will double the capacity. So next year, we will have a huge capacity that will probably bring the whole price and the offer down uh, mm. to be more affordable. But Brazil is, uh, I believe, one of the top destinations for next year. Sure, and, and a good value one as well. Definitely. Yeah. And I understand you had a, a famous visitor to the stand this year. That's right. We had uh, uh, Felipe Scolari, uh, the coach for Chelsea football team, and um, which has helped us as well also to, to endorse the fact that we are having our World Cup in 2012 in Brazil, which is a great opportunity to have him here and be another ambassador of Brazil promoting our country. And that's just one of many sporting events you, I know that's one you're definitely holding, but others that you hope to hold in the future. That's right. We're also bidding for the Olympic Games in 2016. And uh, we are, Rio de Janeiro is competing against uh, uh, four other cities. And uh, the tender will, uh, well, the bidding will be completed by September, October next year. I think it will be a great opportunity for Brazil to have the, the World Cup in 2012 followed by the Olympic Games in 2016. It will be absolutely fantastic. Very exciting. Chris, thanks, thanks very much. Thanks very Best much. Best of luck for the rest of the show. I'm sure it will go well. Great. Thank you, John.